Greetings, Imperial Citizens. Thank you for choosing to watch. I'm Anthony. For today's communique, we're going to be taking a look at one of the brand new Target exclusive Galaxy Edge droids. Three astromechs were released, and the R3 unit happens to be painted in Imperial colors, and therefore, an Imperial droid. Over the course of the Star Wars line, Hasbro and Disney Parks have released Imperial droids with various colored highlights mainly silver, vibrant orange for the Disney Parks releases, and muted orange for the standard releases. Plus, the two other astromechs seen on the Death Star in Star Wars and Darth Vader's astromech droid. The new Galaxy's Edge droid is a vibrant orange, the color I designated for security. So let's take a look. The standard Disney Parks build droid astromechs come in five parts. A main body, left leg, right leg, dome, and middle leg. All three legs contain working wheels, and the right and left legs have feet and shoulder articulation. This R3 unit has a new paint application to set it apart from the previous Disney Parks series Wave 2 parts. And for the Target Galaxy's Edge editions, extra pieces were included. For the R3, it's rocket boosters. The purple R2 includes a serving tray, and the red R2 includes an R5 dome. But what sets the Target Galaxy's Edge build -a droid droids apart from the previous releases are the following. This time around, the hat hole is filled in. In fact, this dome isn't even a repaint of the previous R3 dome. It's a repaint and recast of the R2 dome. The additional lower leg holes which were introduced in the Legacy Lines build droid series and dropped for Disney Parks Wave 2 series appear to be filled in for this release rather than reusing the Parks Series 2 bodies. But without a doubt, I'm most happy to see the return of the wiring on the feet. The wiring was removed for Disney Parks Wave 2 Astromech series to avoid park goers accidentally purchasing two left or two right legs which I've done. At $10 each, these are nice little sets, and I'm always happy to expand my Imperial Army. Since these Galaxy's Edge droids aren't named, I hereby designate this droid as R3GV0. Why GV0? After my oldest daughter Grace, who was born in 2000 and composed all the music for my videos. But wait, I have two daughters. Allison, born in 2003, likes a purple droid, so that R2 unit is hereby designated R2AB3. That's all for this communique. Wait, what? What about the third droid? Good point. Well, there are three droids, so I may as well name the last one. I've decided to name the last droid after the woman whom I don't give nearly enough credit. Grace and Allison's mom, Amelia. Therefore, the red droid is hereby designated R2-AL7. That's all for this communique. Thank you so much for your support. And now it's time for you to do your part for the Empire. Like, subscribe, share, and you can follow the Imperial Communique on Instagram and Twitter, and I wait for the next transmission.